What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Myers World. And a lot of you guys are still having issues with the rookie premiere, whether you should do it, why you know, why should I do it? Is it really, really worth it? Well, I told you guys several times it, it it's not really worth it if you're a guy that's not gonna be playing Mutt for the full year. Okay? Now, if you're gonna play Mutt for the full year, a lot of you guys know we're gonna at least get some use out of two of them. All right, now you're probably like two out of 10, 20% G Maya. What are you talking about, bro? Let me explain to you what's going on. All right, every player that you can get a chance to get right now as a rookie premier, those players are the ones that EA Sports and a lot of people that watch sports believe are gonna have the best opportunity to do well. All right, now it doesn't really matter um, you know about the you know the certain players that weren't there that you think should be there that's not what this is about what this is about is understanding that it is a video game at the end of the day and that you know the players that are chosen out of the first round those players are most likely to get right out on the field and put in work now let's go over them and see what's happening now cd lamb for me i've already used his other card so in madden He's pretty much a guy, if you want to like, you know, throw post routes, uh, corners, you know, whatever you're doing, if you want to do stuff like that, you would enjoy this card. For me, it doesn't work. You guys know what I do, bruh. I'm looking for dudes that's going to come out and moss dudes uncontrollably and leave them just on the ground screaming as I go and pick their moms up, drop her off, don't pay the Uber, and didn't tell her I didn't pay it, and they come back to get the cash. This is what I'm trying to tell you right now. CD Lamb, looking at these numbers, you can compare him to like some of the best cards in the game. I know they don't get physical chems, and that's all good, but you can compare this card to most of the cards that are really, really high ranked in the game, with the exception of the speed, and he's right there. But again, for me, it doesn't work. That doesn't mean for you, it wouldn't work. Another thing, if you guys have made it this far into the video and you're still asking the question, if you quick sell this card, do you still get it in Madden 21? Yes, yes, yes. Shout out to all the people that, um, I kind of saw um, yesterday that you guys were answering in the comment section quite regularly about that. If you quick sell it, yes, you get the card in Madden 21. It's about completing the set. That is it. All right. So you can go ahead and you know share it, spread it wide. You can once you complete the set, it's automatically registered for that Origin account that you're logged into right now. Now, if you're trying to do crossplay or you're leaving Xbox to go to PS4, PS4 to go to Xbox, I don't believe that it's going to transfer. Okay, I, I don't know, uh, you know, 100%, but I do believe that this was something that came up last year, and I just know that, you know, console, the console, I'm not sure if it just stays with the Origin account, so no matter which one you log into, um, you know, it'll work, but again, to be safe, just know, if you're on PS4, you're gonna get it on the PS4, um, or the, I guess, I don't know how it's gonna work, that's also another good question, right? Um, some of you guys are saying, is your team going to be transferable to the PS5? Now, I don't believe it will be, or the you know whatever the new Xbox is going to be called. Um, I, you know, obviously I'm going after the PS5. I'm a Sony guy, but I don't think that you're going to be able to get the rookie premieres on PS5. That would be outrageous if they were able to do that. That would actually be a good look because a lot of you guys are just concerned with you know. What am I going to get? Am I going to play out the full year on the PS4 and then play Madden on the PS5 later? Just understand a couple things. The way that the PS5 Madden is going to play is going to be completely different, okay, from the PS4 Madden. The same way it was in Madden 25 with the PS3 to the PS4, and you see how different the game was? Similar situation. It's going to be the same exact thing. The mechanics, everything around the game is going to be different. Um, you know, things that were working on the previous uh, console will not work on the PS5, and I, I believe it'll be the same uh, also for the Xbox. So just so you guys understand that, that is something that's a gamble. Now remember, this is also something that's very, very interesting. You don't really have to get Madden for the PS5 if you don't want to. I think it's gonna be automatically, I think you get it for free though. Uh, I know Xbox offered it and said that if you get it on the Xbox One that you'll get it on the next generation console. I'm not sure if Sony also said that, so if you once you get Madden, you'll be pretty much good to go for the next gen, you know, the, the newer, newer next gen uh, console. But again, with that question, that was very, very specific. I'm not sure gauged on the fall 2020 release dates for both the PS5 and the new Xbox. I don't really think that it's 100 percent that you are going to be able to get your rookie premieres transferable there. But we got to be honest, it's going to be a complete rebuild for everyone. So it's not like your opponent will have an advantage. I will decide what I'm gonna do 
uh, later on once I see what the new specs are what's going on um, if I'm gonna just go ahead and just pick up and just jump right to the PS5 we'll figure that out later obviously I will be trying my best to get a PS5 at launch it's going to be um, you know pretty exciting uh, trying to get it because a lot of things have changed over the last you know decade of you know actually securing these consoles so we'll see how that works out but I'm just pointing all that stuff out because I'm trying to figure out um, you know go through the lines of questions that you guys have been asking and try to get everything through so getting back to this right would this card really matter when you get the lower 77 overall in Madden 21 would it really matter to start the year off it depends on the kind of stats they give them because in all honesty, at the beginning of the year, all we're looking for is speed. Throughout the whole year, we're only looking for speed. But at the beginning of the year, if you can get a glitchy card that can burn dudes deep, and then the corners don't really start off super fast, with the exception of a few, you know, Lattimore, they've given them decent speed to start the year. Certain cards, Patrick Peterson, you might get some cards, um, with the exception of the Legends, because like the Legends sometimes are just way OP to start the year, which is why a lot of people just buy packs and they don't care. Um, this card could be something, even at a 77, that would be something that you sneak into your lineup to try to burn somebody on the street. So when you're looking at the value of the cards, like even with him, right, we don't know the mechanics. What we do know is that every year there's something else that's OP. The spin move, the juke, the truck, whatever it is. We don't know yet what will be OP in Madden, but we know there's going to be some type of ability that's just really, really wild. We all know that as Madden veterans. We just have to figure out exactly what it's going to be. Now, is it going to be the smaller guys? Is it going to go back to being the bigger guys? We could just truck a dude all the way up the field. We don't know. And again, does it matter? Um, would you be able to afford, you know, getting a decent running back at the beginning of Madden 21 that has similar stats to the rookie premiere? Yes, you would, but that card would remain the same. The whole point about this is we're banking on the fact that these guys are going to go crazy when they get on the field and then we're going to dynamically get upgrades. That's what we're banking on. Every week, like week to week, when you're able to go ahead and do these things and get these new cards, that is a huge thing. Plus two, plus three speed, just for not doing anything, is gonna definitely show because, again, remember when we um, we had those issues where we were like, you know what, these cards are not really showing anything. You know what I'm saying, bro? Most of these cards are playing the same. It's not, um, you know, giving us anything that, you know, it's like, oh my God, we're seeing a difference. EA made speed by one attribute point matter this year, at least for the launch. You were able to see, okay, I got plus one more speed. Yeah, this dude is fast. You were able to see that if they continue along those lines in addition to tuning up like abilities and all that other stuff you're going to need every upgrade you can get now as far as joe burrow would we use him some of you guys are saying okay does it make any sense you know to get this guy because what if they keep up with the same thing with the release will he be able to get a decent release obviously he's going to be a rookie does it matter remember this guys it's not about the fact that you 100% have to use these cards. It's about their value as the year goes on. Because at some point, they're going to be worth training. At some point, they're going to get an upgrade that you may be able to use them instead of another card that you already have. This is the whole situation about it. A lot of you were just like, yeah, it's not worth it. They don't really do anything, whatever. A lot of you guys were using the middle linebacker from last year. I still think I have him in my lineup. Don't I have that guy? Hold on. Where, where's... um? Do we have the rookie premiere? Who, yeah, Devin Bush. Now, look, the, I got rid of all the other ones. I did all 10, but I quick sold them for training already. And, and I showed you guys in the video once I did it, and I used that training very, very wisely and was able to make a lot of coins during that time, which is why it's going to all revert back to the same thing. At some point, we're going to use these cards for training in 21 and use it for other sets and different things like that. Now, when you look at his numbers, a 92 speed, 95 hit power, those are really, really good numbers for a card that started off in the 70s or whatever he was, but throughout the year played well and was able to get these upgrades. So even if you don't want to use him later as he gets his upgrades, it's still higher overall cards that you have the option to. I'm just trying to make you guys understand it's not about just having the card. It's the option to use the card. Okay. Offensive line, the offensive line dude um, that's going to be blocking for Tom Brady EA is going to give this dude upgrades just because he's blocking for Tom Brady. Where's, where's that dude? This dude right here, Wirfs. 
he, listen, he's going to get upgrades simply for the fact that people believe that Tom Brady is the GOAT and he's blocking for the GOAT. He And I think he's going to be pretty well, uh, pretty good. I actually had him in one of my mock drafts as well, going high uh, to that t uh, to the Tampa Bay Bucks. So he's going to do his best to protect Tom Brady, you know, once he gets the opportunity to get out there. 6'5", big body. He has decent, you know, like in this game right here, don't look at these numbers and expect anything like that for the rookie premier. Like I said, um, you know, averages are like 77 overalls, whatever. It's going to be uh, something along those lines. But you will have the opportunity to utilize those cards and get wins and put them, in, you know, depending on what's OP. Maybe it goes back to where passing is really what it is. You know, what if it, what if that happens? You know, you're going to need linemen that can put in work. Now, this guy's going to start a very, very low overall. And obviously, you're going to have, you know, uh, legends that are like 90 overall, all other stuff like that. Yeah, that's cool. You keep him in as a backup. As he upgrades, you look at what's going on, you figure out what's happening, and then at some point, maybe you can take him out, uh, take out your, your legend uh, lineman and put this guy in. But just remember, if you're a Buccaneers theme team, you know, th this is good stuff. Whatever theme team you are, like even if you're a Ravens theme team and you, and, you know, Patrick Queen, I believe this guy's gonna be a stud. You know, like th this guy is gonna already add something to a dominant, unbelievable defense. Again, we have to wait to see how he performs, but if he starts to go wild, EA Sports might end up giving him an 88, like the first, you know what I'm saying, the first upgrade week. And then you're like, okay, cool, now I'm right there. And you that's one position that you can kind of avoid having to deal with for a while. That's what I utilize my rookie premieres for. You know what I'm saying? You wanna see what exactly are they going to be able to do, all right? And as soon as they get an opportunity to be even halfway decent enough, you put them into the lineup. And that's pretty much where you go with it. You know, like, it's not anything to where it's like, oh my God, this dude is garbage and I wasted my coins uh, in the last Madden, even though I can't transfer the coins. Like, what are you complaining about? You can't transfer the coins anyway. So it doesn't matter. You can utilize them now. Even if they give us another promo, that still doesn't matter. This is already done. And you're planning for what's going to be happening later. So, at you know, to be honest with you, I'm going to be 100% honest, right? The only cards that's probably going to be really, really good at the launch of Madden 21, Jeff Akuda, because at corner, well, he's 6'1". That's already outrageous. You know what I'm saying? That, that's pretty good. They're going to give him kind of boosted stats, even at his lower 77, whatever it is. Because he's going to be a starter, regardless of how well he plays, EA is going to give him an upgrade. They're going to give him an upgrade. Because he's going to be out there in the field and he's going to have to do whatever, you know, he's going to he's going to be a guy that most of you are going to be like, yo, Jemai, good luck. This is specific. Chase Young, obviously, because I like the defensive scheme that he's going into. I really do. I think he's going to be a, a lot more than what people think that he has the capability of being. You know, like, I, I think this dude's going to go out there and just ball out uncontrollably. You know, just being 100% honest, right? Uh, Cole Komet, regardless of what he chooses to do, I only use him because of his height. And for whatever reason, which I don't think EA can stop, even with all the predetermined animations, height is going to continue to matter. He's going to be a key player because he'll be able to get uh, you know animations that other players can't get at that height. So you got to watch that as well. So you know the, these guys that I'm showing you right now, obviously Worfs, he's going to be a guy that's valuable as well. We already looked over at his card. You're blocking for Tom Brady. More than likely, you know Tom going you know motivate him to do a good job. You go over here. I don't know about Derek Brown. I thought he was a dog, you know, going to uh, Carolina, he's going to be a serious dog on that D-line, but we'll see. We have to wait to see because maybe if EA Sports makes strength and weight matter, maybe we can go ahead and do that. You see what I'm saying? Maybe we can go ahead and make this guy something that goes into our lineup very, very early, but just keep in mind, at a 99 overall, he's 72 speed. He's not going to be that fast to start with his rookie premiere. Just so you guys are aware of that, I want to be 100% you know, clear with that. Um, he might not make the team. Like, the dude might not make the team. This guy, Clyde, might not make the team. Xavier McKinney, he might not make the team. You know, it's like, I don't know. We got to wait to see how it works out. But for whatever reason, when we go ahead and we gauge the speed, because remember, what we're looking for is the fastest guys to start the year. We don't want to get beat over the top, and we want to be able to maintain the type of defense that we're playing. Obviously, early in the year, you can't really, you know, get away with pressing and all that stuff like that unless you have those higher overall legends that out, you know, have better attributes than the players that they're playing against. But just, you know, just for all of us to understand, this guy might not make my roster. 
just so that we're very, very clear with it. But I think we're going to get use out of Chase Young, Komet, Wirfs, Akuda. Joe Burrow, like I said, if they keep it up with these with this whole release situation and yo, dudes are just garbage with their release, he might not make it. All right. Maybe they leave the gunslinger to where you don't have to use four times gunslinger and the guy can still throw the ball fast. If they do that, then it'll be worth it if you put abilities on your quarterback. CD Lamb, if he has the right speed, we might be able to use him as a burner to start the year. Will that be possible? I don't know. Remember, at the beginning of the year, 89 speed can burn dudes because everybody, they don't have the attributes. So just keep that in mind when, you, when people are telling you, yeah, it's not worth it, whatever. It's about having the head start and seeing how you can utilize the players without having to spend money early on. Now, at some point, we're going to buy packs. You know what I'm saying? You guys are going to want, you know, a pack opener with, you know, with the pack goddess. You guys are going to want all that stuff. We will, you know, engage in that. But like I said, I don't buy packs regularly like that. It has to be players that I want. Obviously, you know, uh, Randy Moss, same type of thing. Sean Taylor, those guys, as they're released, I'll go ahead and try to get those guys and see what it is. And it's more exciting in the beginning of the year. So when you guys are looking at the rookie premieres and so many of you guys had so many questions about it, a lot of them should have already been answered. You're not focused on, okay, this guy's going to be such a low overall and I can get another card for a different price that's going to be better. You're focused on the dynamic upgrades week to week, how good those players get. And one of these 10 is going to get a super upgrade within the first week and you'll be able to have that card. So it doesn't really matter what all the other things are. And again, you can't take the coins over to the next matter. So even if they do have another promo, guess what? Each one of these cards quick sell for 93K. So you're gonna be sitting on 930,000 uh, training if that's what you wanna do and you wanna gamble inside of the auction, uh, well, inside of the uh, Mutt store, and that's what you wanna do. So you don't really lose no matter which way it goes. All right, so I wanted to go ahead and break that down for you guys to make you understand exactly what was going on with it and um, you know what my plans are, like I just told you. Worfs, Komet, Chase Young, Jeff Akuda, those guys are probably gonna be guys you can play right off the rip. CD Lamb, if he's fast enough, we will start throwing streaks to him and see how that works out once the game is released. Other than that, you guys go ahead and complete it and have all of them because you never know. You just never know what's gonna happen with it. And again, utilizing them now, you will not get the same type of thing. They will all be in the 70s and lower overalls. We're planning on dynamic upgrades. I wanna thank you guys and girls for watching. If you have any other questions about rookie premieres or what you should be doing in Madden 21 Ultimate Team, you know what to do. Go ahead and leave it in the comment section. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.